Here, we have a newly created IOTIC application using Angular. As you can see, we don't have an app module because this is a standalone application, meaning it's using the new Angular feature for standalone components instead of requiring ng modules. You can see that we have standalone true in the decorator. In the past, to install and initialize Angular Fire, we used the schematic ng add Angular Fire. This asks us if you're going to install the latest package of Angular Fire. We click yes, and then it proceeds to install everything and to work to set up your Firebase configuration. And you see that we get an error saying, specify module path does not exist. This is because the schematic is not ready yet to work with standalone applications. In this case, we need to do a manual configuration. So you're going to go and open the main TS file. If you want to check it out in the Explorer, it's inside of the source folder. And you come here to main TS. And in here, we are going to initialize Firebase. For that first, we import the packages that we are going to use. Since we are going to be using Firestore, and authentication, we are going to import the providers for Firestore and authentication. And we are also going to import the provider for app to be able to initialize the application as a whole. Next, we are going to come here and one by one, we are going to add our provider. First, we are going to call here initialize app. And this is the method that's going to initialize our Firebase application. Remember to get your real credentials from inside your Firebase project. Next, we are going to import authentication. But here's the deal. Authentication needs to be initialized differently depending if you are running your application natively, like I want to use Capacitor to deploy this application as a mobile application, or if you are using the web as a platform. So for that, we are going to import the Capacitor root package and then we are going to add here our provider for authentication. And we are using import providers from, we say, okay, we're going to provide auth. And here we check if it's native platform, meaning that it's going to be running as a capacitor application that you're going to deploy through the Google Play Store or the App Store, then you need to initialize auth, getting the app and changing the persistence for the local storage that it's going to be using. If not, it means that it's going to be running as a web application on a browser, then you just return the get off, and with this, you initialize authentication. And lastly, since we are going to be using Firestore as our database, you need to provide Firestore. Here, we are not doing anything else. We are just calling get Firestore so that we can provide to our Angular application our Firestore instance. And with that, you are ready to go. Now you are able to use Angular Fire in your Angular standalone applications.